Bim Bahadur Shrestha considers himself lucky. He injured his leg during April's earthquake and was treated in the capital. He only returned to his village two weeks ago, but then his leg became infected. I was having problems with my leg. This mobile health team came and said to go to the district headquarters immediately for treatment. They said there were foreign doctors there and it was closer than going all the way to Kathmandu. But getting there wasn't easy. His family had to carry him for hours until they managed to get a vehicle to bring him the rest of the way. With the district hospital still damaged, these tents operated by the Red Cross provide basic and even surgical medical care for people near and far. We had one woman that uh, she walked for two full days from sunrise to sunset. The team leader here says they're still seeing some earthquake-related cases, but the number of patients who come from distant areas depends on the weather. When it rains heavily, uh, we experience here that less people are coming. And on sunny days like this, there's, uh, there's quite a huge peak in, in patients coming. Uh, a few days ago, we had a peak of hun almost 160 patients coming, coming into the hospital in one day. That's because beyond the district headquarters, proper medical care is hard to come by and even harder to travel to. These winding and uneven roads are difficult to navigate for vehicles and people alike. And now, mudslides caused by the monsoon rains have added to the obstacles for people to get to district headquarters for treatment or for medical aid to get to them. Roads here aren't well maintained and the mud only adds to the travel time it takes getting to and from hundreds of remote villages. Hours later, we came to this picturesque village, the damage from April's quake still visible. This local medical post still stands but a close look inside shows why it's not usable. Forcing patients and the only doctor here to use donated tents. But medical care is still limited. It's not safe in the hospital, so we're just using these tents. We refer more serious cases to the district headquarters. The upside since the earthquake is we've been getting more medicine sent to us. The goal is to rebuild 60 of the 80 district health posts that were damaged by the earthquake but many of the rural districts across the country are in a similar state. And like here, health care is just one of many things that need rebuilding. Fez Jamil Al Jazeera, Sindhu Palchok District, Nepal.